Imagine you've taken the wrong freeway exit and don't have GPS. What's your next move? Do you meander among the back roads and abandon your destination altogether? Or do you fix your mistake and get back on the right route? In the upcoming months, the U.S. Supreme Court has a golden opportunity to reverse course on the most weighty issue facing American society, law, politics, and morality. Protection of innocent life. Nearly 50 years ago, seven of nine justices on the high court handed down their ruling in Roe v. Wade. Together with its companion case, Doe v. Bolton, Roe nullified protections for women and unborn children across the nation, allowing abortion on demand throughout the U.S. and setting in motion an abortion regime that has claimed the lives of 60 million unborn Americans and counting. Criticized even by abortion supporters like the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who called Roe an unnecessary decision and a heavy-handed judicial intervention that wrongly halted a political process, legal scholars across the spectrum agree that Roe had no basis in the Constitution, American law, or even the case's factual record. The majority just made it up. In 1992, the Supreme Court had the chance to correct course in Planned Parenthood v. Casey. But the court's ruling in Casey only made things worse, adding the vague and undefined undue burden standard to Roe's already nonsensical reasoning. The results of Roe, Doe, and Casey have been devastating, not just to the many lives that have been lost through abortion, but to America's judicial and political systems as well. The very first God-given right America's founders recognized was the right to life. But because the Constitution says nothing about abortion, Cases involving abortion place the high court at the center of a controversy it can never resolve. And lower courts are forced to strike down common sense laws year after year, upsetting the democratic process and the people's desire to protect innocent life. But a case before the Supreme Court this term, known as Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, is the perfect opportunity to put an end to this disastrous pattern. Enacted in 2018, Mississippi's Gestational Age Act protects the health of pregnant mothers, the dignity of unborn children, and the integrity of the medical profession by limiting abortion after 15 weeks. Thanks to scientific advances like ultrasound, which was still a developing technology when Roe was decided, we know that a baby's heartbeat can be detected at six weeks and that a baby is fully formed at 12 weeks. The science of fetal development also tells us that by 15 weeks, A baby can move and kick, sense movement outside her mother's womb, and has eyes and eyelids. She can even hiccup. This level of detail in the scientific data was unheard of in 1973. Yet, as the Mississippi legislature recognized, abortion at that stage is usually carried out by using surgical instruments to crush and tear the unborn child apart before removing its pieces from the mother's womb. That's a barbaric and cruel procedure that every society should reject. And most countries do. The United States is one of only four nations, including China and North Korea, allowing abortion on demand throughout all nine months of pregnancy. And we're one of only seven nations in the entire world where a child 20 weeks or older can still be targeted for abortion for any reason or for no reason. But that's not the only aim Mississippi had in its legislation. Lawmakers also understood that abortion, particularly that late in pregnancy, poses heightened health risks for women. Every abortion carries a significant health risk to the mother, and those hazards get more frequent and severe the later in pregnancy she resorts to abortion. Beyond 15 weeks, a woman risks severe physical complications that can require her to undergo a hysterectomy, other reparative surgery, or blood transfusion. Abortion is always unsafe. It always takes the life of a child while exposing the mother to significant medical risks and even death. There are good, healthy, and safe options for a mother and her baby. Americans should be able to help make sure every mother can make the healthiest choice for herself and her child. Despite all this, an abortion business that profits from abortion but dishonestly calls itself a health organization filed suit to stop Mississippi's law. Finally, the U.S. Supreme Court has the chance to reverse its catastrophic decision in Roe, Doe, and Casey. At long last, the court could empower people 
who desire to protect women and unborn children from the violence of abortion. Will the court take this bold step? Alliance Defending Freedom, along with dozens of groups working to defend innocent human lives, is working to encourage that result. Join us as we watch and pray. Follow this case at adflegal.org. You can also find more videos like this at adflegal.org slash freedommatters and on YouTube and Facebook.